Hi everybody, how's it going? So today we're talking about how Facebook might leave the European Union, maybe considering it or who knows what's going to happen. But either way, what does it mean for you who have perhaps already pre-ordered an Oculus Quest 2 or who are still thinking about it? First things first, if you're here for the very first time, welcome to you and welcome back to our regular subscribers. Very cool to see you again. This is, of course, VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. A long-running dispute over the security of an individual's privacy and private information on Facebook will be settled in a European court later. It's part of a campaign by the activist, Austrian activist Max Schrems, to ensure data is kept secure as it crosses international boundaries. So basically, the European Union isn't really happy as to how technology software companies are sharing the data from its European citizens with its US counterparts. And this doesn't only include Facebook, it also includes various other technology software companies, for example, Twitter or Google or Microsoft, Amazon, so on and so forth. The case was called Facebook Ireland and Schrems, four words that could have major global implications. Schrems is author and privacy activist Max Schrems. So we're really, really happy with this judgment. He launched legal action against Facebook and its European headquarters in Ireland, arguing his data wasn't protected when it was transferred to the social media giant servers in the US. The case went from Ireland to Europe's top court in Luxembourg, where judges agreed with him. Naturally, the European Union is getting increasingly concerned because Facebook can be used and has been proven to be used as a platform where third parties can use all the information to manipulate people's thoughts. So, for example, if we look back at 2018 with Cambridge Analytica's shocking array of what went on during their, that time, where they went into Facebook, they data mined millions of people's information in order to falsify potential political advertisements to sway people's votes. I mean, that is pretty amazing. And they also did the same thing, not just in the US, but they also did the same thing for Brexit and various other campaigns too. So if we bring it back to virtual reality and what it really means for you, if you're someone who uh, pre-ordered an Oculus Quest 2 or you're thinking about purchasing one, well, basically, first of all, this will take some time before the court ruling will go ahead. And so there will be probably a month, a couple of months maybe before there will be a final ruling as to what's going to happen. Um, it is on doubtful that Facebook would pull out, but never say never. Um, and if they do pull out, well, worst case scenario, honestly speaking, I very much doubt that they're going to close everybody's account. They need to be able to retain all the data from every single user. So they're not just going to erase and delete everybody's data since they need that data in order to create better predictions uh, to advertisers and also for, well, I mean, undoubtedly the, the other things that they're doing, which Anyway, so um, they do need to retain that data. So worst case scenario, I would think even if you would pull out outside of the European Union, the same thing would happen as to what's going on in China. So what you would probably need to do is buy a router um, that is VPN enabled. This means a special router where you can actually put inside a VPN within your own home network uh, and not on your mobile phone because there are two different types of routers. One is you can put a VPN, another one is you cannot. So you probably have to get a VPN router. And then once you install the VPN, you'll probably be able to access Oculus and all the apps and download everything and have conversations with everyone and all that kind of stuff using a VPN. A VPN, by the way, is, 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 a, is a proxy that gives you an IP address from another country. So you're basically faking where you're located in the world uh, once you go inside a VPN. And we'll do another video about that. So do subscribe if you want to learn more about VPNs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we might do a video on that in the future. Guys, thank you so much for going to watch the previous video, which was all about, well, what does it mean uh, that you have to use a Facebook account in order to go into the Oculus and in terms of your privacy, how safe it is and potentially what kind of data are they actually going to be mining from us uh, now that they can use Facebook's algorithms within virtual reality as well. I mean, you guys are so awesome. You've left so many comments. We had so many views. I don't think any other video had so many views uh, compared to that video. So whew, thank you. Thank you so much. You are awesome.